Hello everyone, so I just got access to Twitter Spaces finally and so I did a quick overview of all Twitter Spaces feature uh, in this uh, video. Uh, so now I can also show you how to create a Twitter Space, how to invite speakers there, how to share a link to Twitter Space and all the main features, how to enable disable captions and overall what what is this all is about. Uh, have you heard of Clubhouse maybe? So Twitter Spaces is a kind of Twitter alternative competitor feature to Clubhouse is a real time audio chat and it's gaining more and more traction. So this is just a quick overview to give you an idea and yeah, also some tips how you can get into it, how you can get an invite like uh, yeah, basically just participate as much as you can in other people's Twitter spaces, try to get on stage and eventually you will get an invite into this beta. So let's dive in. So here's a quick overview of Twitter spaces. First of all, in the top part of Twitter, you can see this kind of purple bars and this is basically how you can join the Twitter space. You can see the description of the topic, uh, for example, QA is top tech media companies in Africa, and then you can just tap join the space. So that's how it works for you if you are a listener in the Twitter space. Basically, Twitter space is kind of like an audio room, uh, uh, similar to Clubhouse and other fast growing company in this niche. But uh, I just recently got an access to Twitter Spaces myself and I want to show you how it works from the point of view of organizer and hosts of Twitter Spaces. So if you just tap and hold in the bottom right, you will see this Twitter Spaces icon uh, in the very bottom. So this is the Twitter Spaces icon. Uh, so how to get access here because this Twitter uh, feature is not available to everyone is not public. So what you need to do is just participate more in these Twitter spaces. So just follow some tweet tech Twitter influencers like Emily Chang from Bloomberg Tech or Sam Sheffer or some other uh, like tech journalists and they already a lot of them are already invited in Twitter spaces better. And uh, yeah, so just participate in the Twitter spaces, be active, try to request to go on stage and speak. And after that, you might notice an invite. Uh, so you won't get any email, nothing, just this icon will appear in, in Twitter. So there you have it. So you can invite up to 10 people to speak. Uh, you can uh, just, it's a real time live audio conversation. I just got access and then there are like three types of spaces similar to Clubhouse. You have like a public space where everyone can speak, everyone on Twitter who discovers this in the top bar or just in the Twitter feed can just join and uh, join your Twitter space. Or you can also, also limit it just to people you follow or you can also invite people to speak. So for example, you can just invite someone and then just tap start your space and you can invite up to 10 people to speak in the Twitter space. So similar to Clubhouse, they have like public rooms, shared rooms and private. So here you have everyone, people you follow, or only people you invite to speak. And then you can just tap start your space in the bottom and your uh, microphone will be muted from the start. So there you have it. So the Twitter space is starting. And yep, there it is. So what you have here, so the uh, like features are almost the same as you are a listener. Uh, you have settings here. Uh, you can adjust your settings. You can, uh, if you uh, change your mind, you can change this Twitter space to be like only private or for people you follow. Then you can enable captions. 
So captions uh, show what's being said and help to make space more accessible. And then you can enable disable sound effects. Honestly, I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> it sounds fun. Uh, so then of course, because it's like uh, beta, so you can just uh, uh, send your feedback and help Twitter engineers. You can also view rules and you can, yeah. If you are joining some space uh, which you don't like, you can always report the space for the different types of reasons. Yeah, so here, uh, of course, you can uh, na uh, name your space at the description. At the moment, it is not, not possible to change the name of your Twitter space. Uh, unfortunately, in Clubhouse, you can name rooms, but here you, your space will be like Andre's room or John's room or Jessica's room, Jessica's space, sorry, John's space. So just what's your Twitter handle space? And then you can just add description in the bottom. Um, yep, to invite, uh, add speakers, you just, again, type here and then just invite uh, people like this and then just tap invite. Uh, so they will receive invite in, in Twitter. Then there are here emojis, so you can drag. That's another feature which Clubhouse doesn't have, which is pretty cool. There are only five emojis, but I think Twitter will add more. And then the last tab is just, you can invite people to your Twitter space. So you can invite via DM or you can share via tweet or copy a link. So if you want to share via tweet, you can just do this and this is, will be your Twitter space and people can see it in their timeline and then just click on it and join your Twitter space if it's open to everyone. When you end your Twitter space, this tweet still will uh, will remain in your feed, but it will just say like, power under space ended. And pe people obviously won't be able to join the Twitter space if it's ended. So that's basically it. So you can mute or unmute yourself. So when you're unmuted, you can see this purple uh, moving like, uh, yes. Yeah, so you can see that you're speaking and here you can see your captions. Maybe these captions are not that precise, so you can turn them off. Um, and then you can mute yourself back. So that's that um yeah of course like in twitter space you will have like listeners you will have speakers and once there are some people joining you can they can request uh, to go on stage so in the bottom left they will have the option to go to stage uh, and then you can allow them or i guess you can also throw them out of the stage but just not sure about all the peculiarities how it works there and um, so that's basically it. Uh, that's how you start a Twitter space uh, on your own. And then you can just leave. So if you're a host, if you're a started Twitter space, you can just uh, uh, tap leave. And then obviously the Twitter space will end for everyone. Also in top left, you can see uh, that I'm speaking. So you can see like my purple icon. So that is cool. Uh, so there you have it. And once again, let's just join another test Twitter space to see an overview how it looks like from the point uh, of view of listener. So yeah, the, well, yeah, of course the difference is just in bottom left, you can see this request to join the space, but other than that settings and uh, user interface is quite similar uh, as you're a host. Of course, if you're a host, you have some additional settings. So uh, there you have it. Hope it was helpful. Like and subscribe. Push that like button so more people can discover Twitter Spaces and try it out. Visit my website, mrhack.io. And thanks for watching. See you in the next videos.